Throughout history, humans have built shelters for safety and grand structures to honor our beliefs. Among these creations, walls stand out as testaments to human ingenuity, resilience, and ambition. They have protected, divided, and defined civilizations for millennia. From the rugged landscapes of Scotland to the bustling cities of ancient China, walls snake across our planet. In ancient times, there was a widespread phenomenon of constructing large-scale ancient walls and fortifications across many regions of the world, and we'll figure it why. Ancient walls, diverse in their construction and purpose, dot the global landscape. Each region boasts unique styles, reflecting available materials and architectural ingenuity. In Europe, the Romans left their mark with imposing structures like Hadrian's Wall. Built from local stone, it stretches across northern England, a testament to Roman power and ambition. The massive Cyclopean walls, constructed with gigantic limestone boulders that seem to defy logic. These walls are scattered across regions like Lazio and Abruzzo. The Aurelian walls, built by Emperor Aurelian in the 3rd century AD, stand as a testament to the city's need for protection during tumultuous times across the Mediterranean. The Greeks constructed walls that were both defensive and decorative. The walls of Troy, immortalized in Homer's epic poems, exemplify this duality. The long walls around Bukhara in Central Asia stretch over 400 kilometers, featuring fortresses and watchtowers designed to protect this vital Silk Road city. While often associated with defense, ancient walls served a myriad of purposes. They were instruments of power, symbols of prestige, and tools for managing resources. Walls delineated boundaries marking the territory of a city-state, kingdom, or empire. The construction of a wall was a declaration of sovereignty, a way to exert control over land and resources. Walls could regulate trade, funneling goods and people through designated gates where taxes could be collected. Beyond their practical uses, walls held profound symbolic meaning. In arid regions, walls were built to control flooding, manage irrigation, and prevent soil erosion. Ancient walls, shrouded in the mists of time, have become fertile ground for misconceptions. One common misconception is that all ancient walls were built to withstand lengthy sieges, while some, like the massive walls of Constantinople, were designed for prolonged defense, many others served different purposes. Let's now look at some curious facts about these ancient structures. Did you know the Great Wall of China isn't a single continuous wall, but a series of walls and fortifications? And contrary to popular belief, it can't be seen from space with the naked eye. Hadrian's Wall in northern England was originally 73 miles long and marked the northern limit of the Roman Empire. The walls of Babylon were so grand that they were included in ancient descriptions as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The walls of Jericho are some of the oldest city walls ever discovered, dating back to around 8000 BCE. Although not ancient, the Berlin Wall is a modern example of how walls can impact societies and symbolize division. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to receive each week new videos. While iconic walls like the Great Wall of China capture the imagination, countless other ancient wall systems around the world deserve recognition. These hidden gems offer fascinating glimpses into the past, revealing the ingenuity and resilience of diverse cultures. In Southeast Asia, the ancient city of Angkor boasts an impressive network of walls, temples, and hydraulic structures. These walls, adorned with intricate carvings, enclosed a vast urban center that thrived for centuries. In Africa, the walls of Benin City were once a marvel of engineering. Constructed from earth and moats, these extensive walls protected a powerful kingdom renowned for its bronze castings and artistic achievements. Let's not forget Antonine Wall in Scotland. Another Roman frontier system in Britain was the Antonine Wall, built in the second century AD under the reign of Emperor Antoninus Pius. This 37-mile-long wall across central Scotland was intended to replace Hadrian's Wall as the northern border of the Roman Empire. Another interesting wall systems are the Limes Germanicus in Germany. The Limes Germanicus was a 350-mile defensive frontier system built by the Romans to mark the boundary between the Roman Empire and Germanic tribes east of the Rhine River. These ancient constructions remind us that civilizations rose and fell in every corner of the globe, leaving behind legacies etched in stone. 
The construction and effectiveness of ancient walls were profoundly influenced by geography. The lay of the land, the availability of materials and the local climate all played crucial roles in shaping these architectural marvels. In mountainous regions, walls often followed natural contours, taking advantage of cliffs, ridges and valleys to create formidable defences. The Great Wall of China, for example, snakes its way across rugged terrain, making use of natural barriers to maximise its effectiveness. In coastal areas, walls served a dual purpose, protecting against both land-based and seaborne attacks. The city of Constantinople, strategically located on the Bosporus Strait, boasted massive walls that withstood numerous sieges. Climate also played a role in wall construction. In arid regions where wood was scarce, builders relied on readily available materials like stone, mud brick and even salt. The geography was also used to controlling trade routes. Walls were sometimes built to regulate and control important trade routes and commercial activity. For example, the Athenian long walls connected the city to its port at Piraeus, allowing Athens to control maritime trade. Ancient walls often transcended their practical functions, taking on profound religious and cultural significance. They were seen as sacred boundaries, demarcating spaces of ritual purity, spiritual power and divine protection. In many cultures, temples and religious sites were enclosed within walls, creating sacred precincts separate from the secular world. These walls served to both protect sacred spaces from desecration and to regulate access ensuring that only those who were ritually pure could enter. Walls themselves could be imbued with religious symbolism. Inscriptions, carvings and decorations often depicted deities, mythical creatures and scenes from religious texts. These artistic embellishments transformed walls from mere barriers into expressions of faith and devotion. The act of building a wall could also be imbued with religious significance. The presence of ancient walls had a profound impact on the daily lives of people living both within and beyond their boundaries. While walls provided a sense of security and fostered a sense of community, they could also restrict movement, limit economic opportunities and exacerbate social divisions. For those living within the walls, life was often characterised by a sense of safety and order. Walls provided protection from invaders, criminals and wild animals, allowing cities to flourish as centres of trade, culture and innovation. However, walls could also create a sense of confinement and limit opportunities. They could restrict trade, making it difficult for people to access goods and services from outside the walls. Walls could also exacerbate social divisions, separating the wealthy elites living within the city from the poorer classes relegated to the outskirts. For those living beyond the walls, life was often more precarious. Ancient walls, weathered by time and shrouded in mystery, have inspired countless myths and legends. These tales offer tantalizing glimpses into the beliefs, fears and aspirations of people who lived in the shadow of these colossal structures. One recurring motif in wall legends is the story of their construction. Many cultures have tales of superhuman feats of strength, divine intervention or magical bargains struck to explain how these seemingly impossible structures were built. Another common theme is the idea of walls as barriers between the known and the unknown, the safe and the dangerous. Legends often tell of monstrous creatures lurking beyond the walls, threatening to break through and wreak havoc on civilization. Walls also feature prominently in love stories, often symbolizing the obstacles that lovers must overcome to be together. Let's deepen some myths surrounding this walls, Cyclopean walls of ancient Greece. The massive stone walls of ancient Greek cities like Mycenae and Tiryns were believed to have been built by the mythical Cyclopes, a race of giants with a single eye in the center of their forehead. The Greeks marveled at the scale and precision of these walls, which used massive boulders fit together without mortar, leading them to attribute their construction to superhuman beings. Walls of Tiryns and Mycenae. The Cyclopean walls of the Mycenaean citadels of Tiryns and Mycenae were particularly renowned in ancient Greek mythology. The walls of Tiryns were said to have been built by the Cyclopes for their hero, Pretus, while the walls of Mycenae were also credited to the Cyclopes, according to the ancient geographer Pausanias. The Great Wall of China One persistent myth about the Great Wall of China is that it is an ancient structure dating back to the first emperor of China in the 3rd century BC. Another myth claims the wall is so large it can be seen from space, which is not true. The Dragon's Backbone One of the most popular myths dates back to the Ming Dynasty. 
According to legend, an unhappy dragon living in the mountains carved out the shape of a spine with its powerful claws, creating the backbone of the Great Wall. Locals believe the wall follows the path of the dragon's spine to this day, built by criminals. According to one myth, the Great Wall was constructed solely by convicted criminals during the Qin Dynasty, similar to an extreme form of community service. An estimated 40,000 people died working on the dangerous project, visible from space a famous myth, popularized by Ripley's Believe It or Not. In 1932 claims the Great Wall is the only man-made structure visible from the moon. This has been thoroughly debunked as the wall is not visible to the naked eye from space, nor is any other human-made object. While the Great Wall is an impressive feat of engineering, many of the most well-known myths about its construction and purpose are not historically accurate. However, these legends continue to captivate people's imaginations about this iconic structure. Mythical Origins of the Ark of Bukhara According to legend, the Ark of Bukhara, the central citadel of the city, was built by the mythical hero Siavush. His tomb was said to be located near the eastern gate of the Ark. The layout and design of the Ark's palace were also believed to be influenced by astrological elements, like the shape of the Ursa Major constellation. Ancient walls, though often viewed as relics of the past, continue to exert a powerful influence on our world today. From a historical perspective, walls provide invaluable insights into the past. They offer clues about ancient construction techniques, military strategies, social structures and religious beliefs. By preserving these monuments, we honour the legacies of those who came before us and ensure that future generations can continue to marvel at their grandeur. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the ancient walls of the world. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more fascinating stories from Mythomaniac, Legends Alive. Until next time, keep the legends alive.